Got the world premiere trailer for Assassin's Creed Red. Now revealed to be Assassin's Creed Shadows. Let's see what it's about. Let's see. Make it look a little bit better. Okay, so I know some rumors were going around. I've never known in my life. I will end. Okay, so it is taking place in Japan. My family. He looks familiar. Burned oh, snap. In the name of Woman protagonist is woke. Shout out to the woke mafia. Ooh, the samurais. Ooh. Oh, big squat. God dang. Oh, the home is on fire. We're going to get a classic Sasuke arc right here. You are still a frog in a well. Who knows nothing of the sea? Hold up. The oceans feel samurai, the ships, but they all come from the same river. Is that Carrie Payton? Uh oh. Is that okay? So I know it was rumors. Is that Yasuke for real? And also, wait, are they opposing forces right now? Vengeance. I think they might be. Are we going up against Yasuke? Oh. Oh yeah. You know we fool with the samurai stuff. And you. Will you continue down that river? Yeah. Oh, let's let's give it up for the fact that he doesn't have the killmonger right now. And we must look for it together. Okay, so maybe maybe you go up against each other at one point and then he's gonna turn around and y'all be on the same side. Yeah, it looks like they're working together. Look at the beautiful dreads on him, man. Rebuild. We don't have to be plagued by the killmonger. And follow the blade. Okay, so is he even gonna be really an assassin or he's just working with the assassins? It seems like she's the assassin. Oh. Oh, but she also got that sword blade. I really hope at some point gameplay is shown in this. Oh my God. Okay, so he's given like a brute type energy. Maybe he'll play closer to like the Viking in Valhalla. It's all go mighty. I said, who do you sub? And man, big scared. Shadows. That served the light. Oh. Ooh. Oh, snap. She got that 90 degree hidden blade. Okay. November 15th. All right. So end of the year. Nice. To do a little bit further than a reaction and give like a slight bit of breaking down on it. It looks like we're gonna have two playable characters. I think that's gonna be pretty similar to what's the game that just recently came out, PlayStation Rise of the Ronin, where I think you had the brother and sister and then eventually you could just have companions as well. Uh, it looks like one of them is going to truly be an assassin while Yasuke's character is going to be assisting the assassins. And then you gotta look at like the classic revenge storyline, I guess maybe her family was involved with the League of Assassins. It's not called the League of Assassins, the Order, whatever it's called in uh, Assassin's Creed. It's been so long since they've been called Assassins. But she is going to be the one who joins the Assassins. And then it seems like her and Yasuke are actually going to be opposing forces. I'm wondering if we're gonna play as her and then you're gonna have to fight him and then y'all come to an understanding or maybe you find out like, you know, he's actually being forced to do this. I'm definitely curious to see where that goes. Along with that and them working together, I'm wondering, are there gonna be like co-op opportunities? Is there gonna be times where like 
when I'm playing as Yasuke, she won't be controlled and she'll be stealth. Do I have to pick one or the other and we'll play the story through one of their perspectives? Or is it just gonna switch back and forth? I'm assuming, I'm assuming the latter, considering the fact that she seems to be the main and then she will come across Yasuke. Obviously, by this point, they're no longer enemies. It seems like they're working together in some semblance. That girl is stunned. I don't know if to see a samurai or to see a black man. Only time, <laughs> only time will tell. I'm excited to see how this plays out. This is Assassin's Creed Shadows coming out in November. I, I think that hopefully her playing as a ninja a ninja just leads well to an assassin. Like when you think about like the Anbu Black Ops, like Naruto, that seems like a similar guild to like the assassins. And while this Yasuke being a samurai, I'm wondering, is he going to have any stealth combat elements or if is he going to mainly be like straight up brute, similar to like, I guess what you would get playing as a Viking in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. That's kind of what I'm getting with this gameplay I'm seeing right now. That this game is getting riddled with controversy. It feels like we can't have a single game come out without there being some type of huge issue on the timeline, some type of controversy. What's funny is not a lot of people are complaining about there being a female protagonist as much as they are complaining about a black samurai, uh, complaining about historical accuracy. But what is so funny is that literally, if we do a quick Google search uh, of Yasuke Samurai, of course there was the show that just recently came out, but literally you can see the true story, <laughs> the true story of Yasuke the Samurai. He, there's a Google, uh, a man likely of African origins, get, get out of here, of African origins who served as a servant and retainer to Japanese Daomo from 1581 to 1582. <laughs> actual true story behind him is actual man who exists. There's only so much info about him, which means that when using him in a property like a video game, you can have some liberties because it's not like <laughs> we know a ton about it, but he was an actual black samurai and there were Africans who were in Japan at this time. You got people complaining that, oh, historical accuracy. When, since when do we care about historical accuracy in Assassin's Creed? I need someone to tell me in the comments below because in, I don't remember if it's Origins or Odyssey, I think it's Origins, you fight Anubis, uh, you got Basim in Assassin's Creed Mirage literally teleporting and the explanation is glitches in the animus. You don't even, at least from as much as I played, you don't even see the animus in the game. They don't even explore the present day aspect of it. And yeah, I get it. He's supposed to be Loki or they're supposed to be Loki or whatever. It still doesn't make sense of like, oh, he was just moving so fast that the animus couldn't keep up with him. Because when I played with him, he was slow as heck. Okay. Oh, that is Assassin's Creed Shadows. I'm definitely looking forward to it. Um, I'm gonna try to figure out a couple of things. We obviously need to see gameplay still. I'm not I'm not fully convinced um, until we see some gameplay, but I think this lends well to a good game. It is interesting that we're gonna have two characters. Maybe it plays very much in the story or how they wanted to include Yasuke um, because Ghost of Tsushima showed that you could have a character that is a samurai who also does the shinobi stealth type of stuff. But again, I'm not gonna knock it. I am excited for this game. Uh, I think that, which, which one are you guys picking? If you had to pick a fighting style, are you gonna be going with Yasuke or are you going with the other protagonist who seems to be closer to a ninja? Personally, I like the play style of a ninja. That's what I would like to be. I kind of hope that the option is there for Yasuke to do it so that I can play as Yasuke, support the black man, the one that don't got Killmonger. But if not, I think I'm gonna be going with the Shinobi with a little bit of Yasuke in there, just, just for the culture, you know what I'm saying? That's my reaction and my thoughts on the latest reveal trailer for Assassin's Creed Shadows. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, help get the watch time up on the channel and be sure to click the card on the screen and check out my last video on Helldivers 2 and how PlayStation almost killed it.